Hello Seawolves! So, Boris Herrmann just came in and uh, we now have the, the first images of actually uh, the state of the Sea Explorer uh, Yacht Club. Uh, the Monaco, unfortunately the live stream, everything got a little bit too complicated with some new software that didn't quite uh, work out the way uh, that I hoped. But I still wanted to give you, uh, you know, some of the uh, details and especially also the video, uh, you know, short quick analysis of what happened to the boat. And so, uh, uh, looking at uh, Mr. Herman actually coming into the fitness in fourth position so that's very uh, good news for now at least in that uh, sense we still have to wait of course what will happen as Jean Le Cam uh, uh, comes in but that's very nice so still a well not a, a top three podium but still a uh, top five for uh, Boris Herman so that is really uh, cool and you know especially despite having had this crash now you know still uh, very uh, impressive but uh, you know as we look at the boat we can see that the damage is really quite catastrophic you can clearly see that uh, his uh, um starboard uh, uh, foil is uh, hugely damaged it's kind of limping around in the water at a very strange uh, angle as you can see and we can also see that his bowsprit uh, seems to be more or less completely uh, ripped off the boat so that really explains the um, you know the fact that he was going so slow into uh, the finish I saw many of you of course very frustrated in the chat like why is he going that slow is the damage really that bad well looking at the video we see that uh, yes indeed the damage is pretty darn uh, uh, bad but um, that's what it is for now so uh, uh, we'll have to uh, wait for uh, I guess the next uh, three gens so that'll be uh, Damien Seguin uh, we have Jean-Carlo Pedotte and Jean Le Cam to come in to kind of um, assess the final uh, top uh, five uh, looks like uh, probably uh, Jean might still take the uh, fifth place but we'll have to see of course what happens as we just saw uh, with uh, with what happened to uh, Boris nothing is sure in the Van der Globe 2020 until the race is actually over so that's a quick update on the situation uh, with Boris of course, personally, I'm also very, very happy uh, that he uh, finished now. And uh, so uh, for all of the Boris fans out there, I hope you have your cup, uh, you know, ready with something nice. Let's do a little toast to our man, Boris Herrmann, for doing an amazing race, for being really amazing with how much he shared, the excellent videos that he made. And uh, he really made the race so enjoyable to watch and, you know, brought us all uh, on board. Also, you know, for, from me to, 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 to the team, uh, you know, thank you for uh, giving us some uh, special access and, uh, you know, having me interview because we'll uh, several times throughout the race. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, here's to Mr. Herman. Okay, well, um, going to work on the on the show for the afternoon uh, right after this. So I'll talk to you again in a few hours. But that's it for the update on Boris's amazing finish for now. Ciao. Foil is out. Big Denneker on its jockey pole. Jockey pole. Day three is a stay safe. And we are flying. Nice. A little bit of stacking going on here. The weather and a little bit forward so the boat is not so much on, on its ass. Fuck, fuck, not bad. I like this. 